what's up? Oh, I almost had amazing feedback on this broadcast. Crazy. So I'm sitting in the living room. Jack Jr.'s there, and he's playing Clash of Clans. He's always playing something. Anyway, he's sitting on the couch with his phone. And he looks at me, he kind of smiles. I'm like, what? He goes, so what are we doing this morning? And I'm like, uh, I don't know. He goes, don't you have a live broadcast? And it was like, this is like 45 minutes ago. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got the live broadcast. <laughs> I ran in here. I have no idea. I'm just going to wing it this morning. I just got caught off guard. I forgot all about the live broadcast. I forgot it was Sunday. I just, I slept really good last night. I think I went to bed like around 11 and I woke up at 8 and I, it was good. Good, a lot of dreaming. I know when I dream a lot that I'm getting some good sleep and there was some crazy, I had a dream I got a record deal with all my buddies. Uh, I guess I was in a band. I can't even play an instrument. I can barely play the radio. Anyway, good morning. We're a few minutes early, so I'm not going to get any topics uh, just yet. There is a question I want to address. What's the difference between football, finger food, and finger food? Uh, okay, so like football finger food is what guys and girls want to eat while watching the game. It's a little bit different. Uh, sometimes you'll see like finger food will be a Ritz cracker with a little bit of this sour cream dip and an olive. and, and That's not fi football finger food. Football finger food is a big drippy hot wing or, you know, cheesy bread or, I mean, it's usually not healthy, but we're going to try and, and come up with some ideas on how to make uh, football finger food a little bit healthier. And it gears, as we make it healthy, it gears towards regular finger food. Um, you know, there needs to be some uh, creative dips and stuff, uh, mix in more vegetables, of course. Vegetable trays are great. I love the radishes. You can buy them now. They're already made. And it, Except they have the nastiest dips, though. That ranch dressing, you peel back. Oh, my God. I don't even know where they dug that up. I never... It's like, okay, carrots, radishes, celery, dip. Phew! Dip's gone. And I just replaced my own. Um, I have some great stuff. Uh, you know, uh, a vegetarian and even a meaty chili is great. Put them in, like, little cups little plastic cups with plastic spoons. Those are awesome for football. Um, make it spicy. Oh, I love spicy food. I should be eating spicy food, but I love it. So, football finger food, are, are they're robust and salty and cheesy and, and you know, make you want to drink lots of water, I guess. So, anyway, um, it's hard to be healthy, but, uh, you know, you just got to be creative and think ahead. So, like, if you're going to have people over for Super Bowl, uh, you're going to want to keep it. Look at it. I've already got in. All right. It's 9 o'clock. Uh, if you get people over for Super Bowl, try to make things. Instead of having, like, I don't know, peanut butter uh, on Ritz crackers, let's say, uh, which is kind of lame, but it's not even a finger food. It's just because you're hungry. Um, put peanut butter on celery. Uh, if you're trying to, you know, you're trying to do uh, uh, a meat, a meaty, like, wings, uh, try doing uh, chicken breast, you know, grill up some chicken breast and cube it. And in between, uh, grill, put some grilled, like, onions and bell peppers. And, like, a little skewer of, uh, like, a shish kebab. Do some baby shish kebabs. Just try and implement a little bit more. Uh, try not to make it all starch and fat and oil and all that stuff. And try to replace it, you know. I know, like, uh, like a lot of people are replacing mashed potatoes with whipped cauliflower. I guess cauliflower. Now you can grind it down and make it creamy, and who knows? I haven't tried that on the show yet. But uh, just look at each dish and uh, see if you can make it a little bit healthier and uh, not so much fat and oil in it. Uh, because really, you're sitting there watching the game. You ain't playing the game, so you don't need all that all that fuel. So there is a difference. Uh, you know, if you're a football guy, then you know what the difference is. It's the stuff you want to eat while watching the game. Usually what's on an appetizer menu at a sports bar, those are like football finger foods, um, you know, and try to stay away. You know what? Try to make stuff. I'm, I'm trying to stay away from prepackaged stuff uh, to where I'm not doing these little pizza rolls and all these frozen food you just zap and that stuff never tastes good. I mean, it, it's, it's edible, okay? It gets you by, it puts something in your stomach, but man, you're going to pay for it later. 
Try making your own pizza rolls. Seriously. It'll taste completely, it'll blow people away. It's so good. Okay. So let's, uh, <clears throat> YouTube's being really weird today. And last week it started, like when I refresh the page, when I refresh my comment section, okay, sometimes it logs me out and I got to click on sign in and I got to choose clicking with Jack Shell. It's a big mess. So bear with me as I'm, I'm trying to answer your guys' questions. Let me see where we're at here. Do, 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 do. Uh, do you recall uh, me from previous shows? Uh yeah, Brendan's 11. I do recall, but I remember, I, I gotta be real careful who moderates. And, and nothing against you. Uh, I just can't remember, you know, if you're on board with the show or you're, you know, I gotta be real careful with my moderators. They're usually people who've been with me. I mean, like, like Hawker is, you know, I see him all the time. He's commenting on the channel. He's commenting on Facebook or, you know, commenting on social media. Uh, so, I mean, he's here like every week. So I, I remember him. Uh, I have seen your name, Brendan's Eleven. I just don't recall that we've ever really connected. So don't take it personal. Uh, you know, um, you know. Well, let's try it next week. So if you want to come on back, but uh, I gotta be real careful because giving somebody moderator power can uh, you can really mess with people. So uh, and that happened once on the show. So I gotta be really uh, selective. Uh, let's see. Oh. Okay, so yeah, see, like for example, you have the ability to uh, to block people, and you have the ability to remove people. I think I don't know. I've never been a moderator. So as we go along, we just remove those items, anything that's disrespectful. Uh, let's see. Gosh, there's uh, oh, oh, I can't read that. <laughs> Hi, Jack. Hey, Primer HD. How are you? Uh, let's see. Hey, Jerry, don't even worry about it. Uh, we're all good. So if there's a bad comment, we'll get to it, I promise, and we'll clean it up. Uh, trying to keep it family friendly. So it's all good. Hey, you guys, I'm going to tell you something. Um, you know how Audible's been a sponsor on my show for about six months. And they don't sponsor every episode. They'll do like one or two videos a month, which is pretty cool. Um, you know, that's... Uh, that's what, you know, I worked six years to get to that point, and it's so weird because when a sponsor comes on the show, people are like, oh, you sold out, oh, blah, 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 and it just, it just kills me. It kills me. It's like, dude, I've been giving you videos for six years. I barely, even when I'm on vacation, I'm making videos. I said, you know, I'm finally get a chance to, to make some money and put food on the table and you want me to work for free? That's like me telling you to go to, go to go to work, but don't punch in. Yeah, don't don't sign your time card. I want you to go to work and work for free because if you take a paycheck at work, you're selling out. Now we've had this discussion before, but it's still it's you guys need to understand that you know not all YouTubers are making a lot of money. Just put it that way. I I, I always tell people do YouTube because you love what you do. Don't do it for the money. Trust me, it takes a lot of views, a lot of people, a lot, a lot, a lot. There's a lot of people out there making lots of money, and that's great. But uh, some of us are just uh, trying to make a living at it. So bear with me. Uh, I do have another sponsor coming on the show. They, uh, they, uh, it, it's an honor for me because I don't think my show is that important. I don't think it's that big. Uh, for anybody to want to advertise on my show would be like really cool. So, uh, I got a call from Hulu Plus, and that to me is like an honor. I mean, that says something. I mean, they care about my show. So, to me, it's a personal thing. Uh, I keep it brief, but there's really, uh, and I'll never do a company on my show that I disagree with. Never. I won't do a gambling site or a smoking site or, a, you know, none of that. You know, anything that I feel is inappropriate. There have been sponsors I've said no to. Um, so, because I just don't, I don't want to promote it. I only promote things I love. Uh, just like the products, uh, you know, when I review a product, I'll tell you if I love it or not. Um, I never take money to review a product, uh, ever. Uh, if somebody gives me something, they get a warning. I always tell them, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to call it like it is. Farberware, for example. Farberware gave me their blender. It was going to be only available at Walmart for the holidays. And, and I did a review a couple years ago on the Farberware blender. 
And I told the guy, I go, look, if I don't like it, I'm going to say it on the show. I'm, you know what? I'm not going to be mean, but I'm if the cord's too small, the blade doesn't work well, or the engine just smells like it's burning, or whatever. Um, so that's the deal. So I just want you guys to know that the integrity of the show is more important than anything. You can't when you know you lose people's trust, you don't get that back. And trust is, I mean, it's like all the other things you can do to people. I can you know, slap my friend in the face and apologize and he'll forgive me. I can steal from him and, and tell him I'm sorry and give it back. Um, I can do those those bad things. But when you lie to somebody or you're dishonest and they know they can't, once you lose trust, I don't really believe you ever get it back from that person. So trust is everything. All right. Hey. All right. So what do we got here? Oh, everybody's saying hi. I love it. Um, yeah. Brendan's 11. I, you know what? I, I will we'll work on, uh, oh, Jack Jr. is playing right now. Um, he can't come in. But we'll, we'll let you moderate next week, and we'll see how it goes, okay? Uh, I remember to watch today. Hey, hey, Jason, welcome, dude. Uh, Jason's a good buddy of mine. He, uh, uh, I think you're coming out to, are you coming out to L.A. soon again? I can't remember if we you gave me dates or not, but uh, we'll have to have you on the show. Maybe, uh, Jason, uh, yeah, I'll meet you in L.A., uh, we'll do we'll do the LA thing. <laughs> he he wasn't happy about having to drive down Orange County uh, last time he was out. Jack, did you ever review a Lebanese restaurant on your channel? Lebanese. Oh, I've done so many Syrian, Egyptian. I don't think I have. If you have one in mind, I love all that food. That just point me in the right direction, and and I'm I'm eating it. I love it. Uh, Alton Brown's guac recipe is great. Healthy too. Oh, um, now that you mention that, uh, Master Ren, uh, my wife is going to do her guacamole recipe. That's right. I talked to her in another video. Can you believe that? That's so cool. She makes this. Uh, we went on a cruise down to Mexico, and we we docked at this one place. I don't know where. And they taught us how to make uh, guacamole, I think, and they taught us how to make salsa. It's a simple recipe. Anybody can do it. So it's nothing elaborate. But she's going to show you how she does it, and it's going to be really cool. Hi, Jack. Hey, how are you? It, is it Zora Mystic Tuify? Mystic Tuify. I'm horrible with usernames. Uh, oh, you like the shirt. Thank you, uh, Jared. Thanks. Uh, can you review the Edge of Glory? Is that a knife sharpener, Edge of Glory? All right, the next review is Arrow Knife, by the way. So the Arrow Knife is going to be my next... I get so many requests for that. I just got to do it. It's going to be after the healthy eating month, so it'll be in February. So I'll, I'll look at Edge of Glory. I'm, uh, if, I think that's a knife sharpener, isn't it? Hold on. Let me see. Yeah, okay. The Edge of Glory is not something uh, I would ever... Anytime you drag your knife through a sharpener... You're chewing the metal right off, and I can't do that to any of my knives, especially the ones I got behind me, because they all cost like hundred dollars, you know, each. It's crazy, but uh, uh, Edge of Glory is is one of those that chew. If you watch, it just it just rips the the blade. It gives you a new edge, but it's not. You should just just learn to use a stone, whether it's a dry stone or a wet stone, and a, uh, a st one of those uh, steels that uh, to hone your knife. Um, there are videos on, on, on YouTube that you can learn how to do that. I'm still not good at it, but I do it. Uh, I take the time. Uh, they also have an electric one that has a stone, and you can gently bring pull it through. There's three slots, and I think uh, Bed Bath & Beyond and a lot of your kitchen places, uh, it's a little pricey. But, you know, you have three different ones. One is to fine to hone. One is to sharpen, and one is to put the edge back. If you ding up your knife and you see a chunk out of, you know, a little nick, it'll put the edge back. It'll smooth that out. It'll, that's for, like, really rough jobs. So you have, like, three sections. Um, I do like that. I don't think I've ever reviewed that. Maybe we'll review that. But the, the Edge of Glory, those cheap little, uh, what was that, shark one, uh, you pull through, you're just ripping the metal right off the knife. It's You'll see the shards of metal. You'll see the... The fine metal coming right off and it's like ow that's not gonna last long um so anyway let's get back to see youtube thanks for logging me out youtube i appreciate that 
also this whole oh emailing have you guys realized that now anybody who's on my google plus show page and i think i have a thousand people over there on the google plus show page can now email me they don't have to have my email but if you there's a way to gmail they, they made that happen i'm like really i don't want a thousand people emailing me my email box will just fill up and i won't be able to do any business so I turn that feature off. But I, if you guys don't know that's possible, that's possible. If you want to turn that feature off, just look it up uh, on my Facebook page. I give directions on how to do that. Uh, I'm like, why? Why would you do that? Why would you allow people to invade your inbox? Um, and don't, hey, don't, don't get me wrong. I got Twitter. I got Facebook. You guys can reach me any way you want. But my inbox is for business. So I can take care of my business. Okay. So, uh, oh. Okay, let's talk football picks real quick. Oh, good morning from Tennessee. Good morning, Catfish 2011. It's been a while since I've remembered to watch the live show. Yeah, I know, it's kind of weird. A lot of people miss the live show because they just don't remember Sunday mornings. Uh, it's 12.10 on the East, all right? Uh, if, this, if this is too personal, I love personal questions. I understand, but how long have you and your wife been together? Ah, oh, it's not personal. Um... Uh, and then I'll get to football picks. Uh, my wife, I met her when she was uh, 19, and I was 26, no, 22. Wait, 19. Hold on. Uh, I'm six years older than her, so 25. I was 25, she was 19. And we didn't get married until she was like, we, we, we dated for like four years. She basically said, gave me one of those, hey, uh, you know, if we're not going to tie the knot, let me know. And you know, this is, so I'm like, okay, let's get married, you know, but, uh, yeah, so we've been together, we've been married for 14 years, and we dated for four, so we've been together for about 18, um, but, uh, she's awesome, she's my everything, I'm crazy about her, I mean, she's still smacking my hand, um, it's, I still feel like it's really weird, I can't explain this, I don't know, I, I know a lot of, a lot of people, they, you know, their marriage is like, it's just there. But mine is like, I mean, Tammy and I work on it all the time, but I'm crazy about her like the day I met her. And it's awesome. I still feel like I'm courting her or dating her or whatever. Like I'm still chasing her. Um, always trying to impress her. Always trying to romance her. Maybe it's Italian to me. So anyway, yeah, I'm crazy about her. She's awesome. Did I already say that? Yeah. Um, and all the guys are like, oh, dude, shut up. You're looking like a pansy. Nope, nope, nope. Don't care. Don't care. Because she's going to be with me for the rest of my life. And um, we got something going. Or I'm telling you, it's a good thing. So if you're going to get married or you are married, the number one thing you want to do is work on it. Always work on it. Never feel like because you're married, it's over. You got to fight for that. You got to make it happen. So both parties need to be involved in making that happen and try to outdo. I try to come up with new ways to. Uh, make her happy and romance her and whatever. Uh, I'm not a big flowers and card guy. I don't do flowers because they die in three days. And, it's, I mean, could you imagine? Hey, here's a puppy. It's going to die in three days, but enjoy it while you have it. You know, I just can't stand I think flowers is the biggest waste of money. Also, cards, I just, cards are the biggest waste of money. But I will send flowers to my wife every so often. I just don't don't like it. Uh, but I know she does. And I, and I, I send it to her work. Because it makes her feel good in front of her coworkers to get flowers. So I get that whole thing. Um, but I never send my wife flowers. You, know, you can ask her. I never send her flowers on Valentine's or any any her birthday or anything. I send her flowers when it's nothing but my love for her. No reason. There's no commercial telling me to send flowers. Um, but uh, I try and get creative, you know. Um, send them a, a snack basket, you know. Uh, send them... You know, send them something different or, or get, get tickets to go to a show, a live show, not a movie, but a live show. You got to get creative. You got to keep thinking, okay, you know, if we're going to go to Vegas for the for the weekend, you know, what can, we, what, what can I take her out for a nice dinner? Is there a nice place out there she's never been to? Always think. All right, so now football picks. Where are you? I know I have them. Hang on a minute. Screenshot. Bam. Okay, yesterday the Saints let me down by half a point. I knew they weren't going to win, but they lost by eight, and I, I needed them to lose by seven and a half. Anyway, so here's my picks for today. 
Uh, I'm going all underdog today. I'm going right off the edge of the boat. Uh, I'm taking the Panthers straight up to win. I am taking the over. And if you guys don't know about betting, uh, if you look at the 49er Panther game, it says over 41 and a half. That means the score will add up both sides to over 41 and a half points. Okay? Uh, it's total score added together. So I'm, I'm doing over 41 and a half, taking the Panthers straight up. And uh, I'm taking, uh, I think the Chargers are going to do it. I think the Bronco fans are uh, a little bit too blown up uh, on their, I, I, think, I think they're being snobby right now, a lot of my Bronco f- friends. Uh, and they just think that nobody can touch them. So uh, I think there's reality coming just like last year. Uh, so I'm taking the Chargers straight up to win. And under 55 points, I think they're, you know, the only way you're going to beat Peyton Manning is get in, get in his head. If you get in his head, he's not going to make the scores. And I've seen it. You've seen that little troubled look he gets. So that's what I got. Those are the, those are the picks for today. Um, uh, I love long shots, So uh, and I love underdogs. I think underdogs fight harder. I really do. Uh, except for Seattle Seahawks, which looked amazing until the last two minutes of the game. But they looked amazing. Seattle Seahawks is the one team that came to play in a long time. Everything was firing off for them. It was it was crazy. It was absolutely crazy. It was like, if I saw that team at the beginning of the year, I'd be like, there's nobody that's going to touch this team. But that's not so true. So I wish the best for Seahawks fans. Uh, you know, uh, but uh, yes, do I want to see the Broncos go down? Absolutely. I do want to see the Broncos go down. So let's see what happens all right, now that we've done talking football, let's go to your questions again. Let's see what you guys are. Uh, <laughs> okay, R Spoon 97, sure the Broncos are going to win. See? There you go. All right, that's fine. That's totally cool. Uh, okay, let's see what else. <laughs> okay, so, hang on a minute. Hey, Hawker, where are you, man? I need you to help me clean up the... Uh, the comment section, dude. All right. So, how's your green ink pan holding up? Uh, Hawker five seven nine six. The green ink pan is doing good. Uh, I don't. I'm not using it anymore as of Christmas. Okay. So I used it for a year. Year. It held up great as long as you. The thing with nonstick pans uh, is people clean them wrong. Okay. There's some sort of a. I don't know how to explain it. But the best way is to rinse a nonstick pan and wipe it with a soft cloth clean. Uh, you can wipe it under water to get if there's some sticky spots and wipe it till the, it removes the food. And then you towel dry it. You don't scrub it with hot soap and water. You just don't. It's like uh, it's like kind of like how you treat a cast iron pan. There's there's a, a treatment that you do. So people who didn't treat their organic pans. They found there was chipping and problems with it. Uh, you have to heat oil. There's a way to treat your pans, and you can you can look that up on YouTube. But uh, the organic, uh, I did something that caused a speck because I when I when I washed it, I put it on top of another pot, and they touched, and I think I made a nick. Uh, I showed you guys in an update video. Since then, I've been absolutely good. So here's the deal: when you cook, okay. First thing you do when you clean up is wash your knives and dry them by hand. Wash them by hand, dry them by hand, put them away. First thing. Second thing, scrub your cutting boards, clean them, and dry them by hand. Wash them by hand, dry them by hand. And then lastly, your pots and pans. Wash them by hand, dry them by hand. Keep everything out of the dishwasher. All right? All that. Keep out of the dishwasher. Do it all. That's the first thing. After that, do the dishes, rinse them, put them in the dishwasher. I am anti-dishwasher, by the way. I hate dishwashers. Uh, any, I mean, really, uh, my wife makes me clean it. If I wipe the dish one more time, it's done. It's like, oh, no, rinse it. You know, you got to get that hard stuff off. Why? we got a dishwasher. It's like, no, no, you got to scrub it all the way down. Then why don't I just clean it while I'm here? So, so I, the whole concept of dishwashers just blows my mind. Uh, so anyway, uh, so that's the deal. I just, uh, uh, that's how you do it when you're cooking. That's how I clean, that's how I clean up at the end of each show. 
I immediately get to my knives first because that's my prized possession. I need those. I heard your sauces yesterday. Can't wait to try them. Love how you include your family in everything. Um, thanks, uh, Catfish. I uh, I love including my family because nothing's worse than a dad who is at work or it, it doing his work and he's not with his family. So if I and I do food and entertainment, so I can integrate them. And if I can integrate them, it makes it more fun. It's like I'm with my family and I'm getting work done at the same time. At the best of both worlds, I love what I do for a living. I love it. And for those of you who wonder what I do for a living, I do two things. I do the sauce business, uh, my sauces and my seasoning, and uh, I do the YouTube channels, uh, Jack on the Go and Cooking with Jack. The, that's what I do all all week long, more than I you know, more than four hours a week. Uh, call over Jack Jr. Uh, I can't. He can, first of all, he can't hear me, and I ain't getting up. And uh, you know, if you want to contact him, you can contact him through. Here, let me give you his gamer tag. CV3 Enforcer. Jack Jr.'s gamer tag. He is probably on Xbox 360 right now. Of course, me and him were playing uh, Need for Speed. CV3 Enforcer. Um, we were playing Need for Speed Rivals last night. If you're a big fan of Fast and Furious, this is great. Um... You can, you can either play as the police or you can play as a racer. And uh, I like how they say racer. Not you can play as a criminal, you can play as a bad guy, but a racer. So you you can drive the streets, and anytime you pass somebody, you can hit the L1 button and challenge them to a head-to-head -head race, and then the game on. And then while you're racing around town, you know, the cops are chasing both of you. So it, it's just really cool. Uh, and... Here's what's really cool. Your friends can join you in Need for Speed. So, like, we can all be in town. So, like, five of my uh, buddies can be online with me. And we're racing head-to-head -head races. And then you got, like, other people, let's say, in New York who are playing. And they're in the game. And they're the cops. So, it's, it's like real people racing and, and going after real people. It's really cool. It's not so computer-generated anymore. We're all kind of racing each other. Um, and if the cops, anyway, if you get away from the cops, you make money. If you get caught, you lose all your money. Anyway, it's pretty cool. Uh, and you want money because you want to go back to the chop shop and, and upgrade your vehicle. So, and then the cops want, they get money too, if they catch you. So, <laughs> enough about that. It was better than I thought it would be. Because I'm not a big racing car guy. Um, just not into that. But this is, this looks really good. Uh, and it's tough. I was... I was hitting some high speeds last night. All right, so let's see here. Uh, nice collection of hats. Yeah, um, always been a hat guy. I think hats, you know, it's kind of cool. Uh, hats say a lot, uh, and I can't always get shirts in my size, so uh, I like to talk a lot through what my hats say. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Let's see what else you guys are saying. Uh, you should have, Nicholas says, I should have more sponsors like food companies or restaurants. Here's the thing. Food companies, yes. Restaurants, never. Because uh, if a restaurant, let's say a restaurant that over here across the street, okay, they want to advertise on my show. It's not going to do them any good because my show's worldwide, okay? They need to advertise locally, not so much on my show, Um Jack on the Go has a better local audience because it's a restaurant review show. But Cooking with Jack, really the odds of, let's say I have 50,000 people that watch, maybe 400 will be local to that restaurant, maybe not even that many. So it's really not worth it to them as a restaurant because it's so local that the guy watching in Germany ain't going to go to this restaurant, you know, so being sponsoring my show. But yes, I would love more food food, uh, I like it to be relatable, and uh, that's why when Audible came on, I started, re I was reading a lot of food books, I got to learn about a lot of chefs, really, I've learned a lot being with Audible, uh, and it's forced me to do more uh, listening to audiobooks, because they're a sponsor, I want to make sure that when I say I'm listening to this, I'm listening to this, like the book Legends right now I'm reading, uh, or I'm listening to, I keep saying reading, I'm not reading it, I love it, I don't like reading uh, I like listening, and listening is exciting, and I don't mind it reading a book to me. 
you'd be surprised. It's a lot more entertaining. Uh, it's more enjoyable. So, yeah, but when Hulu Plus knocks on your door and wants to be a sponsor, you're like, really? That's a big company. I mean, that's big. Why do they care about my show? I have no idea. But uh, I'm not going to... I, I'm going to say, yeah. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay. Will you ever revisit the Bullet Blender? I really hate that company. I'm sorry. Uh, I don't. I have a personal grudge, and I don't know why, against the whole Bullet series. I screwed up that video, uh, Magic Bullet. I didn't do it right. It wasn't a clean review. Uh, there were some faults that I did. But I know for a fact that that Bullet Blender is a horrible motor. Burns out. Lots of bad reviews. And they put a little happy, smiley face on it and call it the Baby Bullet. Just when people start to over-market their thing and, and get greedy, and it's, it's the magic bullet. It is what it is. Let's just call it what it is. Stop, stop repackaging it and calling it something else and trying to tap into another market. Don't get me wrong. It's smart marketing. They probably sold millions, but I think it's a, I don't think it's good quality product at all. And uh, if you heard the motor when I was using it, it just feels like it's going to burn out, light up on fire, and explode in my hand. Uh, it's just not, to me, it wasn't good. The Ninja Company, I don't, never been paid by them, ever. I've had, I'm on my second Ninja now. The first one I gave away and I upgraded to a better one. I don't have the best one and I don't need the best one. I got the Ninja Pulse, okay? That's a powerful motor. That's a fast machine. That has the two layers of blades. So when stuff comes up, the top blade cuts it and pushes it back down. I really like the Ninja stuff. Just preference. So I probably won't go back to the... I don't want to give that company any more attention. There's so many other products I should be I should be reviewing. Good morning. I am from Texas. I like your product reviews a lot. They are funny, too. Well, thank you. Thank you so much. Um, God bless Texas. <laughs> it's a good song, too. Um, what, what did I want to say about product reviews? Oh, somebody totally ripped into me and said, Hey, dude, you got to stop doing this as seen on TV stuff because it's, it's just not your bag or it's not your thing or something. And I'm... Personally, I think they're, they all, 90% of them fail, but you guys love them. And those are like my highest viewed shows. It's crazy. And for him to say that's not my thing, I'm like, are you kidding me? That's like some of my best videos. My more popular videos are the, all my product reviews. I don't even know why. It's crazy. But uh, so Arrow Knife, be ready. The Arrow Knife is the next uh, review I'm going to be doing. And that's going to be early February. Uh, vegetarian month, as you know, we're in right now. How are we doing on time? Wow. I had nothing to talk about, and I've been rambling. I'm sorry. Okay, let me refresh this up here. Uh, maybe Hulu will stream you next. Yeah, you know what? Hulu has uh, cooking shows on it. Did you know that? I just saw that last night. I was watching Doctor Who, and it's funny because on Hulu, when you're watching TV on Hulu, just like in the middle of a scene, it just stops at a commercial place. You're like, oh, okay. And then it comes back, and, the, and you're watching the show, and then there's a commercial break where it goes black, and you're supposed to see a commercial, but there's not, because Hulu already showed a commercial. It's kind of funny. Uh, uh, why did you stop showing the pictures people would send you of what they cooked? Uh, Nicholas, I, uh, I stopped showing pictures. I stopped reading mail and showing pictures when social media came to be. I have now, you can post your pictures on my show pages where everybody can see it whenever they see it um it was it was taking up a lot of time reading uh viewer mail on the on the show and now that i've got facebook and google plus and twitter uh all my viewer mail is answered there you can just go to my pages and see what people's asking and see what we're talking about uh 24 hours a day so it was nice to remove that it gives me more time I like short videos. I try in between five and seven minutes if I can. Sometimes I can't. So I don't want to take up too much of your guys' time in my videos. So I try and edit them tight, be real brief, and show you what you need to see in the, in the episode. Um, and if I go over, I go over. But the viewer mail was taking a lot of time out of the show. People, Not a lot of people wanted to see that, so it's kind of cool. So if you want to see what we're talking about, you go to my social media, and if you want to see the, the dish and what I'm cooking, you go to the video. And by the way, I am working on that a database where you guys can visit. Uh, Dabitat.com is going to be hosting, and it's free. You guys can use Dabitat if you want. Uh, Dabitat.com is going to be, all my videos are going to be one place. 
um, not excuse me, not my videos, all my recipes. So you can search all my recipes in one spot. Lots of people are like, hey, you should do, you know, you should do a pot roast. I already did a pot roast. You can go there to davidette.com and check and search for my all my pot roasts, whatever pot roasts I've done, and there'll be the recipe, the name of it, and there'll be uh, there'll be my notes. You'll see my notes on the recipe, and you'll see a video link if you want to click on it and watch the video. So I'm working on it. There's a lot of videos, uh, a lot of stuff, and I have to I have to manually transfer, copy and paste everything from YouTube to this area that you guys can hang out. Uh, so you'll see everything I got. It's gonna be awesome. Um, okay, so let's see. Will you ever come to the East Coast for a restaurant review? Uh, I would love to. Then anytime I go anywhere, I travel, which I don't travel a lot. But anytime I travel a lot, um, I I always hit up restaurants. I always find out what's hot. If I go to Tennessee on vacation, Nashville, I'm reviewing places in Nashville. If I go to you know Mexico or like on a cruise to Alaska, I reviewed all the restaurants on the boat. Uh, wherever I'm at, I will review uh, San Francisco, San Diego, Vegas. But uh, I, I love you guys on the East Coast. You guys are awesome. Uh, I hope you're staying warm out there. And there's so much food. Philadelphia, New York, Boston, Chicago, uh, Florida. I mean, there's so many. You know, Florida has tons of uh, Puerto Rican food that I just, I'm dying in taste. Even New York has a lot of Puerto Rican food. Uh, a lot of nationalities in New York. I mean, you got the Italian food, and it's just there's so much food on the East Coast. I wish I could just get in there. Do I want to do a like a road trip? That would be awesome. Uh, I don't know if I'm in a position to do that right now. I can't afford to just leave my family and hit the road, and and but that would be really really cool to to do a road trip. I know uh, what was a Hannah Hart did it last year. Uh, I wasn't too fond of her asking her viewers for money to, to pay for her road trip. Uh, I would never do that. God, no. That's not something I would do. So, uh, but she did a road trip. Uh, I didn't watch it. Uh, I, don't, I don't get a chance to watch a lot of other YouTube artists, but, uh, but I know she made, like, raised a lot of money, and she got an RV, and she drove around. Me, it'd be cool, because what I would do is I'd stop in, like, a whole bunch of cities, and... We'd have, like, meet and greets, and I'd have, like, a lot of sauce to give away on the road, and it'd just be a way I could thank you guys, and then you guys could join me for, for a, a restaurant review. Yeah, that'd be cool. All right, now now I'm all excited, and I can't do it. Great. Um, Pasadena Cheeseburger Week starts today. Does Buena Park do a Cheeseburger Week? I do not think Buena Park does a Cheeseburger Week, uh, Morali 22, but uh, I'll have to look it up. I didn't know there was a cheeseburger week, period. Pasadena, man. There's another place with good food. Uh, the purple hat you mailed me was so huge on my head. I love it, though. I'm sorry. I didn't I didn't get a chance to... The purple hat. You're talking about that one with the, the glasses, the sunglasses on top. Um, I'm so sorry. I, I had what I had. I have a few more. I haven't given away yet, but uh, sorry. Uh, just give it to a friend with a big head. <laughs> Trust me. I got a lot of friends with big heads. We all got big heads. Uh, let's see. What other questions real quick before we let you go? Get your breakfast on and go watch the game. Uh, Someone on your show two weeks ago. Can't get enough of it. Oh, my gosh. I love that. It's awesome. I live in Lebanon, but I would recommend Zena's Mediterranean and Lebanese Cuisine in Orange County. Really? All right. I'm going to write that down at the end of the show. Hold on. Where's the pen? You said Zena's. I'll look that up, and uh, I'll check it out. I love Mediterranean food. All right, in Orange County, my friends have eaten there and told me it's outstanding. All right, Felix, very cool. Welcome to the family, by the way. It's not just a show. It's a family here. Um, that's how I feel. So, Do you have Need for Speed on uh, PS4? Yeah, Jason, I just I just showed it a minute ago. You probably asked that question before I showed it. Sorry. Uh, are you going to do any product reviews this week? No. The rest of the week... Oh, let me tell you what I'm doing. Okay, I'm going to give you my... I like the live show because you guys get to hear things that nobody else knows. Uh, you know, I know, I used to never tell people what shows were coming. i just let you be surprised, but now I like to talk about it. Okay, this Tuesday is edamame fried rice. Edamame fried rice. You're just like, ew, edamame fried rice. 
dude, you're making some nasty dishes. No, I'm not. This was amazing. My wife ate the whole bowl. It was not, not all of it, but I made her a little bowl of it. She ate it all. And if my wife finishes it, it means it's good. I have a shot of it right here. Bam! Look at that. That is a sneak preview of my edamame in fried rice. And it came out awesome. These are the dishes I wanted to do for Healthy Eating Month. I just didn't want crap dishes. I didn't want horrible, dry-tasting grass. I wanted stuff that had flavor. I wanted stuff that I would enjoy eating as a meal and as a meat eater because I wanted to make the vegetarians happy on Healthy Month and I want to make meat eaters happy. So I promise you, you could even have this as a side dish. I have a small bowl of this uh, next to whatever meat you choose. But uh, we had this for dinner. This was nice. And the weird thing about it is, after I was done eating it, I didn't feel heavy. I, I was satisfied. I wasn't full. I wasn't, uh, I wasn't bogging it down. Uh, and they're clean flavors. You'll see in the video. Uh, I teach you how to do that. Edamame. The other thing is, oh, this, this sandwich was so good. Tammy liked this sandwich better than the edamame fried rice, and she liked the edamame. Uh, it's grilled eggplant and mozzarella. And uh, I, do I have a picture of it? It's on my Facebook page. You can see a picture of it. It came out perfect. And that's Friday the 17th. Then I've got creamy cucumber salad. No, I'm sorry, not salad. My bad. Salsa. <laughs> I found a creamy cucumber salsa. I have no idea what that tastes like because I haven't made it yet. Uh, and then I'm doing something called, check this out. I don't even know what this is. Smoked roasted rapini and penne regatta. Check that out. Yeah, rapini. What's rapini? I had to look that up. But it looked good, and so I'm going to go for it. And then I'm doing my wife's guacamole. She's going to do that video uh, later on in the month. And then the last uh, healthy dish we're doing is the, well, we're going to continue to do healthy dishes. I didn't mean that. But a part of the vegetarian theme, we're doing a tomato and basil bake. When do you see that? My mouth's watering. So those are my vegetarian episodes coming up. Uh, I'm pretty, I'm pretty, I'm very happy with how it's gone. Uh, very impressed. Good response from you guys on these dishes. So, uh, and I'm way out of my comfort zone. I'm not, not a vegetarian show. So doing vegetarian dishes is, is out of my comfort zone. So thanks for the support. Uh, hang in there. Uh, for those of you who want football finger foods, I have a playlist football finger foods playlist somewhere let me see where it is and I have a ton I mean uh, over the years I've been doing football finger foods uh, every year I do football finger foods and then I have a super oh the Super Bowl chili look up my Super Bowl chili to this day it's still one of my top videos it's so good it's called lazy man's Super Bowl chili hang on a minute YouTube stop signing me out would you please can I just stay on just for a little bit. All right. Where is it? Football finger foods. I'm going to give you guys the link. Uh, oh, playlist. There we go. Playlist. Ah, bear with me. Sorry. There we go. Copy link. Let's see if it let me post this. Ah. Comments can't contain links. I've seen links in comments. Okay. Okay. Anyway, I have a playlist on my channel <laughs> that I can't show you. It's on YouTube, and I can't put the YouTube link up there. Amazing. Um, so anyway, check it out. Uh, the uh, It's Football Finger Foods. And then also look up, I think the Super Bowl chili is under there. It's so easy, and it's so good. It's some of the best chili still to date that I've made on the show. All right, let's. right, uh, what else here? Hey, hey, glad to be here. Wesley, welcome. Oh, Rapini is broccoli. Rabe? Robbie? Rabe? <laughs> Why do I have trouble? Thank Brandon's 11 for, for letting me know. That's right. Rapini is the, uh, it's the top of the broccoli, isn't it? Or is it the, yeah, I think. I'll have to look it up. Uh, but thank you, Brandon's 11. That's right. I remember now the recipe's coming back to me. Uh, I've been filming a lot lately, and I have all my, my dishes mixed up. Can't go wrong with eggplant and mozzarella. No, Snooky, you cannot. Hello, Jack. Just wanted you to know that you have a, a follower here in Norway. 
All right. God bless Norway. Love your burgers and pizza wars. Wish I can visit USA someday and check out the places in the videos. Hey, if you guys are going to come to L.A. or Orange County, if you're coming to Disneyland area or whatever, um, look me up. Seriously, we'll hook up. We'll do a we'll do a burger war, a wing war. Uh, we'll do a video together. And uh, yes, I said wing wars. We just filmed our first wing wars, by the way. Uh, my buddy Lou, who's my new partner, because uh, I already have the other guys doing the other shows. But we just started a food war. I just filmed it. We did the uh, Mrs. Knott's Chicken House. That's right. If you've never been Knott's Berry Farm in Buena Park, it's America's first amusement park back in the day. And uh, they're famous for the Knott's Berry Farm jelly. All over the United States, you guys have seen that probably. And uh, anyway, so we went to Mrs. Knott's Chicken House. Famous chicken house. Famous. And I'm going to be giving away her secret recipe uh, on in the description box. Uh, Lou has a copy of it, so... I'm going to post that. And then later I'm going to try it. I'm all excited. Ah, man. Um, I think that's it. I mean, we have more. If you have more questions, I'll go through and answer them. But right now, uh, i got to go eat breakfast because I'm starving now. i gotta, I got to stop talking about food. <laughs> and, uh, and we will uh, uh, we'll enjoy the game. We'll uh, give you an update in February on my cholesterol, my sugar numbers. For those of you who don't know, I haven't been eating anything but chicken and fish so uh, for four months. So uh, I already have my doctor's appointment in February. I'm gonna go visit her. She can take my blood. We're gonna see by not eating all the by not eating pork, by not eating red meat, does that affect your cholesterol numbers? That's the only thing I'm doing this for. Uh, I haven't had that eaten that for four months. So let's see what happens. In the meantime, have a safe day. I think we covered almost everything, you guys. Sorry to go run so long. But uh, every Sunday morning, uh, I'll be right here. And you can ask me any questions you want throughout the week. Uh, please join me on social media, okay? I love you guys. God bless. Take care.